time. Can't make a swing change. Um, What's up, everybody? It's um, like Stax Montana, and I'm coming to y'all with another commentary. This time we got NCAA 12, Road to Glory, and this is the creation of my quarterback, um, Marcus Hicks. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah, his name is Marcus Hicks. I'm going to make him a balanced quarterback. That's going to be the See, be the best because like pocket pass today are real slow and then they got um, the, the I think it's option and they can't really pass that well so yeah I'm not doing that so yeah basically I'm gonna make them from my from my hometown of North New Jersey yeah we're gonna ball from there I'm gonna keep the school name because um, I don't I don't really care too much about the school name but anyway um, yeah, I'm making my um, quarterback someone like RG3, Robert Griffin, but a little bit with my own twist, my own swag to him. Yeah, so first of all, when I go to pick this jersey set, I just picked any jersey color. I mean, I, I mean the navy blue, it looked good, but I mean, I really didn't, it really didn't matter to me. So I keep going. I'm making my quarterback 6'4". That's like a nice height for quarterbacks in the NFL. Probably make around like 125, 120 pounds, somewhere around there, you know, because I'm just I'm still in high school, you know. So I wanted my guy to have like dreads and everything, and I didn't know how to do it at first, but then all of a sudden, like magically, I just hit dark and well, they go dreads. Anyway, I wanted my guy to have like not not big arms, like linebacker arms, but not like small twigs, like in the freshman high school or something. So yeah, I just put it like that. Got his chest build up, rear, no, no mo, a pause or whatever. <laughs> no, yeah, but it had to get a little rear in it. Yeah, calf, building up the calf, and I guess feet is like the size shoe you wear, so I wear eight, so yeah, might as well put a size eight on there. And like I said before, I wanted to make this guy like RG3, you know, sometimes scramble out the pocket. Um, stick around and then try to make some tough passes. Be clutch in the fourth quarter. So yeah. So I'm gonna add the visor on this guy. I like the speed helmet. That's like the best helmet in this game. But anyway, I put the shoulder pads all the way down. That looks the best. Cause I don't really think the shoulder pads protect you from injury. So I just put that on there because it looks the best. I told you I was making the RG3. So I had to go with the long sleeve and the ass sleeve. I don't like RG3 do it. Anyway, just I just can't wait to hit the field with him, man. See how high he is, how fast he is, how he run, how he throw, how he handles the pressure. So yeah, it's gonna be crazy. But yeah, man. Like I still don't know how I'm gonna do these videos yet. Like if I'm gonna put more than one game in it at a time or like live commentary. I, I still don't know yet. I'm still working on it. Still deciding on how I'm gonna do this. But I do want to get through high school as fast as possible so I can help and get to college and hopefully get this guy over to Madden too. So you never know. But anyway, you know I got to have a glove on. You know I got to put the glove on like RG3. Who else wear the glove? Um, Tony Romo. I mean, no, not Tony Romo. What I'm Tim Tebow. That's what I'm trying to say. Like Tim Tebow and um, who else? I know somebody else. Uh, Tom Brady. There you go. Tom Brady, so you know I gotta have a glove on. I'm going with the Nikes because nobody don't want generic shoes. I mean, of course Nikes. The mid Nikes is the best. Um, flat jacket, gotta have it on. Try to add that swag to him. You know what I'm saying? Got to have that swag to him. So I put the flat jacket, the back plate, pipe throw on the hand warmer, and a towel. And now he ready to go. He ready to start his first high school game. He's looking good. He's my, I changed my mind. That navy blue do look good. <laughs> that navy blue do look good. But look, everybody out here, everybody hype, ready for the game. Look, fans out here, they got my dad, you missed him. Look, he getting hype, he getting crunk in the crowd right there, trying to get the right team hype. Checking out the cheerleaders before the game. Everybody is here for the first game of the season. Everybody, you know who they're here to see, too. Before, before he leave and go off to college, they're here to see me. Now everybody running to the field. Look, Toe Toe Cheek and everybody hype. That's what he do. He a great, he a high motor, he a great inspirator. And team captain for sure. But anyway, I guess we lose the toying cost. The toying cost, the, the 
coin toss. I guess we lose the coin toss. And we start out running the ball. So let's see what my running back could do. Let's see what his skills are. He look he look like he tight like he tight. He like he fast. So let's see what he gonna do. He runs and right into a crowd for three yards. Like come on son, I hope you ain't about to start doing that, bro. Word is bone, son. But anyway. And back out. We got like um see somebody. Well, no, I don't see nobody. I'm running, 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 and then I get sacked. And I, well, he probably saying that to me now. Like, come on, son, throw the ball me. Yeah, I get sacked like a god. It wasn't, you know, normal sack either. I don't, I just, I don't even know what I was doing. But I see a man open, open, circle, run, and he gone. Yep, he gone. And so then he got T.O. number, Randy Moss number. Listen, you already know, once you get the ball, going straight, going deep, it's over, so you gone. But anyway... It's still, yeah. But yes, yeah, we're going to simulate. They didn't score. Yep, they didn't score. So it's still the first quarter. Two minutes and 54 seconds to go. First and 10. And we're running the ball again. And let's see what the guy does this time. Uh, I guess that's a little better. You know, the same th got three yards off of it. Stirred down now. And Hicks finds a guy open to the left. I like this tight end. Get us the first down. Um, come back is third and five. Step back. He, Hicks looking. He finds tight end Sanchez wide open. Right there. Get us another first down. See, he moving the change. Moving the change. That's a good. That's a good leader, bro. But anyway, stepping back. Trying to look for a guy open and finds his receiver. He's open for the first down. See, we keep in change move. I like this offense so far. I really like this offense so far. And right here, I should have hit L, but, oh, this guy, wow, wow, what a fail. What a fail. He didn't even, wow, what did he just do, get in front of me and pass out? <laughs> but yeah, I break off of that and get a nice run for seven yards. And now, tight end, oh, well, nope, he smacked it down, and we'll take the field goal. I just noticed that the dude missed our extra point. But anyway, we kicked the field goal. It's a 9 nothing lead, and we get the ball back. Our defense is shutting them down. Um, I'm running in. Well, I ran right into a sack. I ran right into that sack. Anyway, I'm trying to make another play. See my guy wide open, and he gets cracked. Why are they hitting us like that? <laughs> wow, they they really coming for us in this game. But yeah, stepping back, looking for somebody, and I find my tight end open again. But yeah, I'm be relying on him in a lot of situations. Going to that tight end. Yeah, but it's time to run the ball again. And this time, he gets see, he gets better and better every time he runs. I think he gained like 10 or some yards. But after two incomplete passes, it's third and 10. We're trying to convert and step back. I'm looking for somebody, and I throw it and the receiver, and it gets swatted down. So our defense stops them again. And we take the field first. I thought, yo, this is a play where I, I usually, I could usually run over there. And this time, they just shut it down. And I got sacked for a loss of 15 yards. But anyway, we come back out here trying to get them yards back. I see a receiver wide open. I throw it to my head. I mean, he's like he's going in. But, well, at least he gets the first down. And we cover all them yards I lost because that was a real dumb play by me. But anyway, I'm stepping back. I'm looking. And I find my receiver. Ooh, ooh. Did he get in bounds right there? Yeah, let's see the replay, did he? It looked like his foot was out of, out of bounds, but uh, I don't know. Well, I guess he, I guess he was in it. So we right here, third and goal, and uh, running back is just gonna run it in for the touchdown, and we take a 15. Let's see, well, 16 point lead, and our defense is still shutting down. We go with the quarterback draw right here. Feel like I'm about to just run clean up the middle, and not, if I was a little bit faster, I could have been going right there. If I had the real RG3 speed, I could have been going right there. Could have been ghost, but I got tackled from behind. Pause, because that sounded tight, mo. But anyway, yep. Yeah. So what is it? Third and seven. The coach is looking for me to convert, get this first down through the air, and I snapped the ball. Dropping back, looking, 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 and then I get cracked. Then I get cracked. And then he gonna stand over my body and watch me get tackled. But anyway, our defense stops him again in the second and twelve. And let's see what we gonna do. Let's see what we gonna do. We gonna run. I run into a crowd, 
and wow, look at that. Look at their defense. I'm just doing a defense all up, man, this game. I run for a nice chunk of yardage just right there. And this time we're going to try to run it in. But no, I noticed something on the other side of the field. Call audible. Call a little hot route. And now let's see what I do. I snap back. I step back. And I find my tight end over there in the corner. Get the first down. Be ready. So after the failed um, quarterback draw, I try it again just to get a rushing touchdown in there to pad my stats. And I just get, look, get off. Get off me, bro. Don't grab me, bro. Let's see this replay again. Boy, get off me, bro. <laughs> just abusing the defense. And there go a couple of my stats right there. Now it's the fourth quarter. I was getting, they started running the ball a lot since we were winning. So I called the audible. Getting greedy. And this is a lesson that y'all, everyone should learn. Don't get greedy in the fourth because that happens. I throw a pick. I'm trying to get a touch. I'm trying to grab him before he scores. But somebody else get the tackles in. Marcus is mad. Marcus is pissed. So the defense finally scored with that great field position after that interception. And now I'm just going to just run the ball because I learned my lesson after that. And I'm just going to run the clock out. So, yeah, that's what I do. I just run the clock out and to end the game. And Marcus is able to pick up the win, leading his team to the first victory of the season. And a big, nice win, 26-7. Here go a couple of my highlights. Look at that throw motion. We got throwing motion. It's so sexy. I ain't like Tebow with the throwing motion. I'm a little better than that. <laughs> but anyway, man, if you like this video and just just make sure to like it, comment it, subscribe, and make sure you leave a lot of feedback on what I can do better because I'm making these videos for y'all, man. And a lot of what y'all say goes into my videos and just to make me better and to entertain y'all. So let me know what y'all like. And don't forget to subscribe to see all my videos. And I'm out. Peace.